What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Training at LA Fitness alongside my wife, Katie. What a great workout. What a great change of scenery going to LA Fitness instead of Ironclad. Now, I love Ironclad. But sometimes, you know what? You want to see some people. Say hi to the old homies. Say what's up. Now, here's the funny thing. You know, I've been training for this Battle Frog Series LA. I'm going to get into some of that later, including Mike Rasheed and myself going to the Fiesta Bowl with Battle Frog to represent, to rock it out, do some collaborations, and also to view an amazing game that is brought to you by Battle Frog. So I post my new picture today on Instagram. I'm pretty happy. It's Instagram is at Mark Lobliner. Follow me. Of course, I'm veiny. I'm shredded. I'm in the best shape. I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. Yet one of the first comments is, well, that's not healthy. You look extremely unhealthy. Um, my blood pressure is 116 over 76. Resting heart rate's at 45. Plus, um, I ran 3.1 miles or 5 kilometers on Sunday. Yesterday alone, Cammy and I did hill sprints. Five hill sprints, pretty decent sized hill. Ten times, so 50 total hill sprints with a rest in between, which was walking across a field. We did that in 30 minutes. In addition to this workout you're watching right here. And I just don't understand how that's unhealthy. How being, having endurance, having staying power, having strength. And feeling great in all health parameters, blood pressure, everything is perfect. Blood levels, lipid levels, all perfect. I don't understand how that's unhealthy. Another hater comes in and says, why don't you post your steroid cycle like Rich Piana so you can be real. First of all, I'm being real. I've posted it. Here it is. Nothing. There's nothing I'm taking that will make me more vascular, bigger, whatever. Now, I can't say I'm natural because first thing that happens if I say that Haters come out of the woodwork. I will never claim natural, even if all I did was drink water and eat vegan all day. I would never claim natural because then it'll be a Doug Miller effect where then you're hated for claiming natural and not looking natural. All I'm going to say, I don't compete naturally. I don't compete in a natural federation. I don't even compete at all. And I'm running essentially miles a day, every single day, and running multiple miles on Sunday. So just leave me alone. What I'm doing is I'm training hard, working my ass off, and I'm losing even more fat than I had before. And I didn't have much fat to begin with. So honestly, I'm just out working. That's what's happening here. So anyway, Katie's rocking it out here. Here I go rocking it. I think my biceps have actually, they look a little bit bigger. Look at the peak coming in there. Look at everything coming in. I feel amazing. So anyway, Battle Frog, I'm going to fly out there. Mike Rashid and I will do some collaborations, and then we're going to do some cool things with the Battle Frog people. They're really good people, really awesome. Be looking out for some amazing things coming from them and myself. Also want to delve into the protein wars. Now, it has come to my attention, I noticed myself on Google and Facebook, that the people we're up against, they're running ads, dude. They're actually spending money running ads to get people to vote for them on protein wars. So you know what? If you can vote for me, that's great. If we could try and take them out. I'm not going to run ads. I want people to vote for my protein because they love it, not because I'm spending more on advertising and bribing people for my vote, So for the vote. So at the end of the day, if they win, congratulations. Protein Wars is awesome. I love Shane, but we won it last year. I don't think that was any bit of the reason for our growth. Our growth is due to the fact we have a superior product at a very fair price with superior taste, superior quality. So if you want to go out and you know, you know, be bought, that's fine with me. But at the end of the day, I'm not losing any sleep over potentially not being the Protein Wars winner. And if they want to buy their way through Facebook ads and Google ads to being the Protein Wars winner, by all means, guys, do it. I hope you feel good about yourself in the morning. And, uh, and honestly, I saw some of the libel and slander your reps are throwing out online. And uh, that's really awesome. So I really uh, just don't expect me to do you any favors in the future. It's not like I have a retail store or anything. Anyway, here's Katie. Now, Katie's been busting it out, getting it done. Um, she goes to the gym, you know, she, uh, does her thing, very healthy, uh, very active, very proud of her for keeping up her workout schedule, staying functional, staying active and just being an overall great mom. She's running the street warrior program and the street warriors are killing it right now. I mean, we're owning the game. So, you know, I'm really proud of her and what she brings to the table and how she's performs managing, raising three kids, me traveling all the time. And doing, you know, a 40 plus hour work week with the Street Warrior program. Just something that everybody should look at and, uh, and emulate. It's something that she, as well as everybody else who know her, should be really proud of. Um, we decided to throw these in. I, I don't usually do unilateral movements, but these really felt good. Steroids. Here's Katie rocking it out, doing the same thing. Now, I don't like unilateral movements. I just don't have the patience for it. You're never going to be seeing me do 20 rep sets. 
on a unilateral movement. However, you will see me toss them in once in a while for some different stimulus to the muscle, you know, different stimulus to the mind, and just, uh, just because they're good movements. I mean, nobody said unilateral movements aren't good. All I'm saying is that I just don't enjoy doing things where I have to go one arm at a time. I like just getting it done, doing it both at once, going balls deep, making it happen. People really like that side bend thing in LA Fitness. Anyway, here we go, working the brachialidorus, rocking it out, getting that peak in there. Now, this is our last movement. Thanks so much for watching. After this, we did wall deadlifts because it's a deadlift every day program that I'm on right now. And uh, we also did a few sets of abs. I must be telling a joke here because she seems to be smiling. And honestly, I'm one funny, good-looking dude. Let's just be real here. I'm really good-looking. I'm really funny. Here's the wall of deadlifts. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to go to TigerFitness.com. Ruckus is in stock. Um, we have a bunch of new stuff coming out. Keep an eye out. New protein flavor coming next Monday because being the best in the protein game and the supplement game, well, it's actually not a game.